Yo, what is good, Dev guys? Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you guys how to set up the project from scratch. Now, if you already have a Lyra starter game project set up, you can go ahead and skip this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Uh, but for you guys who don't, come over here to the Unreal Engine launcher, come to the samples tab, click on this Lyra starter game board here and hit create project. I've already created a project, so I won't do this, but I name it whatever you want. Save it on an SSD, preferably, but save it where you want and then hit create. I'm going to skip out of that. The next thing that you want to do is come over to the marketplace tab here and then just like refresh it uh, and then come to the free tab, drop down, go to the permanently free collection. We're going to use some free assets here because, uh, you know, your boy ain't about to spend 12 days making assets. So come over here to this stylized character kit. It, it might be in a different place depending on when you take the tutorial, but find it in the permanently free collection. It will always be free. Click on it and add it to your project. I called mine destiny modular character. So you click on it, add it to project. If it doesn't show up, hit show all projects. Maybe it's a later version or maybe something else happened, but just hit show all projects and then find your project and add it. Once that's all done, you want to go to where your project is actually located on the hard drive. Right click on the dot U project and generate Visual Studio files. And this will give you a dot SLN file that you want to right click and preferably open with Rider. If you're using Visual, Visual Studio code or Visual Studio, that's on you. If shit should seem like I'm moving fast or if I just got better auto, uh, you know, like you know how it is, man. You get yourself Rider and tell them I sent you in like a message so that they know that I'm helping them get business so your boy can get sponsored you dig what i'm talking about so uh yeah coming over here you're going to get some messages in rider of course if you're if you're in visual studio you know you're not gonna have to deal with this first thing you want to do is automatically set this project up and then uh, hit yes for this uh, the the other notification was about rider not being in the in, like the actual plugin not being accessible they come over to notification so you can get it back here you want to install the plugin to game. You can install it in the engine. It's just safer to do it inside of the game folder. That way it doesn't uh, affect the engine. It just affects your project. So hit install plugin in game and this will install the rider link plugin. This is only for my rider people. If you're on Visual Studio, get out of here. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. That said that with some anger because you're not using rider. All right. But here, install plugin in game and then up uh, one last thing before I get out of here. Actually, let me show you guys something that needs to happen. And I actually need to install these as well. So come over here to your launcher and open up your library to come to where your engine version is and drop down here. Hit options. And down here, you're going to see this editor symbols for debugging. I know it's 63.23 gigabytes, but I am telling you that you are going to need the I don't have this installed by default because I normally don't program in the binary build of the engine. I use the source build, but install these debugging symbols. That way, if you guys are having issues on your end, I could actually get a good error log that doesn't have a bunch of craziness in it. So go ahead and install. I'm going to install it. I'm going to install it with you guys. You know what? I'm going to install it with y'all and I'm going to have it even though I don't use the shit. Uh, if you want to save some space, I can also suggest any platform that you're not using TV OS. We're not using this eight gigs for that. Linux, maybe not. We're, uh, I'm not putting my game on Linux. I will be using Linux as for a server, but I won't be putting my game on Linux. So I disable that iOS. I'm not making a mobile game. Disable that HoloLens 2. What? I don't even know what that is. Disable that Android. No, again, not a mobile game. Disable that. That saves you what? Eight. Let's call that 10. Let's call this 15. That's what? 25. Let's call that another 10. That's 35. Call this another 10. That's almost 40 gigs saved and now this is instead of it being 60 it's only 20 gigs because you just saved all this space that's normally already checked on so go ahead apply that and let your engine update and then go back to where we were in rider and after this is done give it a quick little build and once that's done i'll see you guys in the next video peace